Find the light, Carolan. Go to the light. Hey guys, it's Thursday, so you know what that means. Throwback Thursday. That's where I find an old photo, an actual photo, and I talk about it. So, here's this week's photo. This photo or picture comes to us from, I don't know how many years ago, a long time ago. This is me and my friend Emily. We were in Paris, as you can tell by the Tour Eiffel in the background there. A bunch of us went to France to stay in a house we rented in the south of France. And the first part of the trip we were in Paris for a few days. So we kind of all divided up one day and everyone kind of did what they wanted to do. And Emily and I decided we wanted to do a Segway tour. This is back when Segways were like brand spanking new and everyone thought they were the bomb. And it was predict predicted that everyone in the world would be using Segways and not walking anymore. That never happened. Now we have these little hoverboards and things. So maybe those will take off because Segways were expensive. Anyway, I digress. The day, we, the day we had our tour, I think I had to meet everyone at the base of the Eiffel Tower at like 9 a.m. So this was like the day after we arrived in Paris. I was super jet lagged and I didn't have very much sleep. So I got up a little late and then I had to get from our hotel to the base of the Eiffel Tower by 9 a.m. And our hotel wasn't that far away. So I was just gonna walk there and the thing about Paris is you can kind of see the Eiffel Tower from almost every area of the city you're in except when you get really close to it because then the buildings around you hide, hide it and you can't find it. So I was getting a little lost and I finally stopped and I was brave enough to ask this like security guy, Où est le tour Eiffel s'il vous plaît? And he directed me how to get there and I actually made it. I got there in time. And the first part of the Segway tour is them explaining how it works and letting you practice it before they take you around the city. And where we were practicing was next to a schoolyard and there were all of these little kids at recess playing and they were super cute. They were like laughing and giggling and making fun of us. So that was really fun. And then we started our tour and we just went around like all the touristy parts of Paris and we were probably in a ton of people's photos because when the Segway tour would go by, all the other tourists would snap pictures of us. Again, this is when Segways had just come out and were like the bomb. And the tour was pretty much almost all day. It was like six hours, I believe. And then we stopped and had lunch in the Tuileries at this little cafe restaurant. I remember we got, Emily and I got like a croque monsieur, a croque madame, and a bottle of Coke. So good, Coke in a bottle, so good. And we sat and chatted with the people that were on the tour with us, so that was nice. And then we continued on our tour and then went back and it was done. So it was a really good experience. I would probably go on another Segway tour at some point. They're really easy to, they're really easy to use. You really, you can fall off of them, but you can't. They make you wear that stupid helmet, but I guess it's for your own safety because people in Paris drive like nuts. Any hoozle, that's Throwback Thursday. Let me know if you've ever ridden a Segway in the comments below. I'd like to know. Other than that, thanks for watching and remember, daydreaming me, Lee Triali. Have a good night and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! To the Eiffel Tower, And Britney Spears. Oops, she did it again. What? Like, really? You're, you're older now, you're a mother, and no one wants to see your belt button and those boots.